Comment are you doing? I'm well. Comment vas-tu, uh, Mel? Ça va? Ça va et toi? Je t'admire. Ah, merci. <laughs> <laughs> okay, et ça so va? This is Sarah. Would you like to talk to Sarah? Um, I think Sarah is already disqualified me. I was on the line because I'm not 38. So I'm going to tell you that. I'm not 38, so I'm already disqualified. <laughs> About to be 33. Okay. So um, you have children? I have two kids. I've been married, divorced. Okay. okay. <laughs> you so what do you... <laughs> It didn't, it didn't, it didn't not disqualify you. Just no, no, since you said you were looking for someone in about 30, 38. So I'm just, I was on the line. I was already waiting. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not as much as stay. I mean, I was surprised. I was, I, I was well, just I mean, I grabbing my... I you're a little bit more mature. Mm, okay. Um, and definitely life experiences have mm -hmm. given you that. So yeah. what are you, what are you, what are you, what are you looking for, by the way? I am looking for a commitment. I'm looking for somebody who's ready for a commitment of a serious that's, relationship to build into something that's strong. That's, but I'm sorry, but that's, that's extremely, like, what are you looking in? Like, not into, into my relationship, but what are you looking for in someone? Like, if you want to be with someone today, to come out with someone, what exactly you're looking for? I'm looking for somebody who's considerate. I'm looking for somebody who is not willing to sacrifice anything to jeopardize a relationship with me. Mm. So if that means work, they need to make time for me and work. If that right. means social, then I need to be considerate and considered of that time. So what are you basically giving in return to that person that you want everything those coming from? Like what? What's the if, if I'm asking you right now, what's the best quality in, in Sarah? What would you tell me? I'm a kind individual. I have an empathetic heart. Mm. And I love the Lord. So that's good. That's good. Thanks. And um, what do you do for a living? I care for people and I sing. Oh, singer. I'm a former uh, radio host, so. That's good. Are you reading right now? Am I reading? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see any book around me now, actually. Now, I, if I'm reading, I'm reading the uh, comments. I'm trying to like give sense to what they're saying. But you're reading. How come I can't see the damn comments? That's not fair. All right. Yeah. So where are you from? I'm from Jersey. I'm in Jersey right now, but originally I'm from Haiti. Okay. So that's it. Okay, Not Ben. Ben, uh -huh. question for you. How would you feel if her body count is higher than yours? It doesn't matter. That's a life experience and it doesn't matter. Everyone has their own life experience. Body count doesn't really matter. It's it is what it is. It's it's not it's not about what she'd done in the past, it's about life moving forward. Okay. Any more questions? Mel? Uh, sure. I, How I old are your children? Say it again. How old are your children? I have uh, about to be five and, uh, and a three-year-old. Okay. How, how long was that relationship? It was a long-term relationship because we, we basically were, we started, she was about to be 18 when we started. Um, then I was in my 20s. So we, we've been in a, like, a long-term relationship for about 12 to 13 years after we finally uh, separated, but married for four. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what, what would you say was the... Why did you guys get a divorce? Uh, you know, like, it's one thing about those relationships, most likely, when you grow up with someone. There's a time in life where we both have to... We've seen, we start seeing life differently when we mature, when we be become mature. So we've seen... A life in a different angle so and we start not to really understand you know certain things like we started not to align so that's that's one of the reason that's one of the main reason actually okay. so we we just have to go apart and and so we co-parenting and move move forward 
and I'm in my own direction and she's in her own direction. So and you think you're ready for a relationship now? I'm ready to talk to someone. Um, I'm ready to talk to someone because uh, I can't tell you that I'm ready to jump into a relationship right away. So we need to find out what's going on. Because I don't, I think marriage is something that's supposed to last forever. But if it doesn't work the first time, you got to be careful for the second time. And mm-hmm. see exactly what's going on here with the with what we're gonna bring yeah, into your life. Under whatever. five. Purple. I'm like, it's nice to talk to you. Yeah. So what we're not gonna do is date anyone who's got children under the age of five who have recently been divorced. Who are not even looking for nor re- ready for a relationship. 